Adobe Camera 2024 has grown with the coolest new feature. These features are only available in the new version of Camera Raw. Let's check out this exciting new feature. By the way, this video is divided into timestamps, so you can skip to any part of this video. Let's start with the one of the coolest new feature, Lens Blur. This is an early access feature which means Adobe is still fine-tuning it and it is open to your feedback. To find Lens Blur feature, look for a panel on the right side and click Apply. A software will automatically analyze your photo to identify the subject and it does a pretty good job. Additionally, you can fine-tune the result as well. The first thing we will see is the blur amount setting. It controls how blurry things get. If you move the slider all the way, it means the maximum blur. And if you set it to zero, there is no blur. Remember, too much blur can make your photo look unrealistic. Next, let's check out the bokeh setting. You have a default option for modern lenses. But if you are feeling creative, there are more choices to play with. A key feature in Lens Blur is a focal range. It lets you control what is appearing from the front to the back of your photo. There is also a Visualize Depth option that shows a depth map of your photo, helping you to understand what is in the foreground and what is in the background. Here you will find two options. The first one is called Subject Focus. If you check this option, the software will automatically set the focus using Subject Detection AI. If you choose the second option, this option is called Quiet Focus. It means you can set the focus manually by dragging and clicking on the photo. Now let's move to the Refine section. Here you will find two brushes, the Focus Brush and the Blur Brush. You will also see some slider. Using this slider, you can control the amount, brush size, feather and flow. Choose the blur brush to make any part of the photo blurry and the focus brush to add particular focus to your photo. If you are already a Photoshop user, you might know about the Neural Filter Depth Blur feature. Here is the difference between camera or lens blur and depth blur. If you want to learn more about depth blur, you can check this video here. Now our second amazing feature is a point color. To access this feature, go to the color mixer and select point color. This feature is very helpful for making individual color adjustments. Let's try it with this example photo. First, use the point color dropper and click on any color from your photo. You will see your selected sample color here. You now you can adjust the target color's hue, saturation, and luminous. The range slider control how much your adjustments will affect similar colors in the photograph. One thing to notice is that wide adjustments are global, which means they affect the entire photograph. However, if you use a mask to isolate a specific area of your photo, you can use the point color panel to make adjustments only within that mask. Our next amazing feature is the Color Adjustment Target Tool. To access this feature, go to the Color Mixer. Here you will see uh, this small icon known as the Adjustment Tool. This tool allows you to directly adjust the Color Mixer by dragging on your photo. If you select this tool, you will see a bar in the middle of your photo. On the right hand side, you will find three options, Hue, Saturation and Luminous. This means that if you select Saturation, you can adjust the situation of the specific color you select with this tool. If you select luminance, you can control the brightness of any color by dragging on your photo. On the left hand side, you will find two options. If you select the first one, you can control cars. If you select the second option, you can control color mixer. Now that we have already selected a color mixer, let's choose cars. You can adjust the light, shadows, and highlight by dragging directly on your photo. You can also make adjustments using the red, green, and blue channel with this tool. I hope these features have blown your mind. Thanks for tuning into this video. 
if you enjoyed it please subscribe to this channel because your support means everything also let me know your favorite feature in the comments below